is a pretty cool agate that I picked up when I was mountain climbing last night. And I spent all morning, well, I sliced it off the mountain. Then I spent all morning polishing it just so it would be ready for you guys. Now we're going to wrap it in some 20 gauge antique copper because that's what we do. If you are expecting something different, then psh, I don't know what to tell you because this is what we do. Let's uh, cut it. Uh, let's give ourselves a lot of footage because I never have enough. Let's do one and a third meters, <laughs> which is like four feet. Let's do that. Let's bang the camera a few times and I'd have that bead there to hold it like that because without the bead, look, it picks up the reflection of the ceiling. Do you see this voodoo magic? Can you do this? Can you do this voodoo that I do? Haha, <laughs> ready, let's go. All right, so we're gonna make our um, uh, loop. Loop, 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 loop. Let's make it a, a multi-tiered loop. Like, a, let's wrap it around several times. There's no right or wrong. Just kind of keep your finger on it and, you know, just kind of watch it. You can wrap it from one side, wrap it from the other, but I usually did like three. I'm gonna do five this time, just be all out insane. Okay, see that? There's, let's count them. One, two, yeah, there's five there. Anyway, then we'll do double twist. Twist, twist, and then we're gonna do that thing that I learned to do on one of the last videos where we're just gonna make some um, larger, slightly larger loops like that. And then we're gonna do double twist, twist, twist. And then we're gonna do another one. And they don't have to be perfect, they just have to be whatever. Ta-da! We'll just keep going like this. Notice my loops are not identical to each other or perfect, but they're close, and that's all that matters. Now let's turn this up like this and see if we have enough. See if that's gonna be the bale, and these are gonna wrap around here. Do we have enough to get all the way around? Well, if I hold it still, that would be helpful, but what's the fun in that? Oh, yes, we need one more, roughly, I think. Let's find out. All right, let's give this a shot. Um, I'm thinking this is the top, this is the front. So put the bale here. And uh, let's try to, ooh, there you go. That kind of grabs on right there. So there we are. And now this next one, it's gonna grab on like right there. So just kind of fold it down. Hold it tight because this thing will want to jump off the stone. And just fold it down, fold it down. Come around. Fold it down, fold it down. Ah, oh, I just bent the bale. I'm sorry. I don't even know what I'm doing. Whatever. Just just fast forward this part. Um All right, good, we came right up to the top. That was what I planned. So uh, now we're at the top here. Oops, that came off, okay, there we go. Yay, at the top, with our little scallops there. Little rascally scallops, okay. Come around like that. And now, the beautiful waves in this agate are just so unique that I'm gonna totally cover them up with some beautiful swirls, because my Beautiful swirls are greater than all other, maybe. All right, so. We're here. I'm gonna keep these strands loosely together, kind of separated here and there, kind of not. Let's just try to make, control the size of the loop just how we want it to be. I'll just bring them together at the end and just come down in some nonsense like that, right? Right? Does that work for you? That works for me. And then we'll come back up to the top and uh, scarf this guy, right? Go like, -bum. and then we'll go like, -bum. and then we'll go like, Oh, look at that. My bale is all goofy. Let's see if we can fix this. Get yourself straight, Mr. Bale. 
straighten your life out before you fall off the deep end. I think that's good. Now, if you have been watching other videos, you will realize that, man, this bale keeps on trying to escape the, the scarf. You can't escape the scarf. I'm going to tuck that one end in and then go for the other end because the other end is longer. Get in there. All right. Just perfect. I used up pretty much all the wire. And now if you've been watching other videos, you'll see I did the scallop thing the first time and then I took another thread and went through it like this to tighten it. And I didn't do this stuff over the front. Well, now I'm doing the opposite. And let's see how this thing holds because I might need to do some more. That's what I did. I came straight up the back. So first we're just gonna pull all these little scallops tighter and see if that does the trick. And then we gotta pull them on the back too. Okay, let's feel how strong that is. I'm going to fan out these um, uh, bale parts. Now, I did a little sloppier than I could have, but I'm going to pretend that I did it amazing. Just kind of try to make them equal here. All right. Now. Okay, this is fine, and many people would sell it like this, but I'm a stickler. This can come undone. Look at that. This is very flimsy. These links are flimsy. This is even bouncing up and down. It's not quite as tight as I'd like it to be. So, I, if I had 26 gauge anti copper, that would be real. Oh, wait, I do. Ah, ha, ha, I'm prepared. Why am I prepared? Is this something going on today? I don't know. Anyway, here's some 26, and let's tighten this guy up. It took about two feet just to be on the safe side. Look how thin this stuff is. It's like you can barely see it. All right, I'm just going to. Where should I anchor it? I think I guess I'll anchor it like right at the top here, through this guy here. Go, look at all oh, this stuff's so thin; it just goes right through everything. I love it. I love it. Bring it to the middle. That way we have two strands to work with. Let's fold this over here. And all right, Let's start doing our thing. So what I want to do is I want to just weave through these loops and also a little bit grab some of this part so it doesn't move so much. So we'll start right here and we'll go thread it through here. This is like sewing if you get it, if you get your technique right. Just, if you pull it real tight and you don't kink it, which means you don't twist the wire the wrong way, which just comes with practice, then it's, this can be really fun like sewing practically. I'm going to go through it twice just to anchor it. Sometimes going around the same spot twice or even three times can anchor it better if you're worried about it moving. Now see this is this is where I could start to make a kink with this wire. Focus you. Like see how it's all twisted up and I'm going to keep pulling tight? No. Got to un untwist those parts. Get it into a nice loop. Try to feel the wire out. Feel like it's not being twisted. Take your pliers if you have to and just kind of like flatten out certain parts. And then try again. See, now it's moving more in a, a nice curve. So now it's not going to kink. Because if it kinks and you pull it real tight, it can break. There we go. Now, I'm going to spare you this part, but I'm basically just going to wrap it through here a little bit. Wrap it through each of these loops through there, come back around to the top, and then in the back I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna wrap it through each of these loops to pull it tight. And let's see how that works. So this worked out really well, and basically what I did is I, I threaded it through here, 
And then instead, of, on the last video, kind of like this, I just threaded it through each scallop because I didn't have any design in the front. This one, I went from the scallop to the design to the scallop to the design, and I went diagonal back and forth, and everything pulled itself tighter. And, you know, this is the kind of thing you just got to practice because sometimes it's hard to get it underneath. Sometimes it's hard to get it where you want, and the wire moves all over, and you just keep on moving the wire, telling it what you want, pulling it tighter, and you just get good at it. So I like how this came out. It's kind of different, too. You have, like, swirly swirl and then, like, straight spider web type lines. Um, so now in the back, I'm just going to take... I, I have a lot of wire left, too, from this one piece, and I'm just going to scallop. I'm going to tighten around the scallops here, and I'll pretty much be done. I'll hide the sharp ends down in that bowl like usual. So that's, that's pretty much it. It's starting to come... See, when some of these get tight, you get your fingernail under there and lift it a little bit. And sometimes it's good to put a little bit of a, a curve on the edge of your wire. If I can get the camera to show you. Like a little bit of a curve. So as you put it under, you can curve it back up. So see that? You put it under and you can curve it back up so it doesn't get caught in other stuff. So then you can grab it on the other side pull it through. So this one I'm just going to go from loop to loop to loop. I'm also trying to find, I'm trying to go with the movement of the wire, like I'm trying to make it a loop like this. The more you try to try to move with the wire without twisting it, the less you're going to run into kinking problems. So for this next one, I'm not just going to go, you know, I'm not going to do some weird way. I'm, I'm just going to keep flowing. I'm, I'm flowing in this same direction. Um, you might not understand quite what I mean until you've worked with thin wire and threading, but, but you'll, you'll do it. Okay, so I scalped it around and it looked really pretty. I did grab onto that middle piece just right there. I could have just kept going from here to here. I don't know, it just felt like it was a little bit, not too much of the angle I wanted. Plus, I didn't like that this thing was kind of moving all over the place. So, I don't know, that kind of takes away from the beauty of the perfect thing. But again, and this is the back, this is the front. So, hopefully the person won't want to show this side. Maybe I should just do one more across here in case they want to have it reversible. And that's not a problem. So, I'm back up here at the top. I'm just going to wrap it. It's so thin, it just kind of blends right into the, the wrapping that's already there. And then I'm just gonna come right here. Cause this wire is extra thinner. I don't just tuck it. I, I make a tiny little curl first and then I tuck the curl. Cause I feel like that's more of a substantial part that can kind of stick in there. So I don't know if you can see this teeny tiny little curl that I'm making right here. And then I'm going to tuck that into this massive bowl and just shove it in there. Like, shove its face in there. Like, get your face in there. Don't you ever come out. And I always add a little dab of glue right down in there, which doesn't touch the stone. So that keeps the extra ends from coming out. All right, we have this piece of wire left. And I think I'll just, you know, finish off making a little part right there and we'll be done. Sorry, right there. Okay. There we go. And that is a prettier pattern there. Now, without adding too much more, how do I get back up here? I'm just going to do this trick where I'm just going to follow this one up. I'm just going to wrap it maybe twice around. Just kind of swirl it up, but it's, it's really going to disappear into that shape. The, the line just going straight up, and then I'll do the same thing. Wrap around, tuck the sharp end in the bowl. There you see it, I just wrapped it under there. Now I'm wrapping it under here. And it's just kind of disappearing right into that line. Now I'll just take it again like the other one, wrap it around, pulling it really tight so it just kind of folds right into the crevices already there. And we don't need that much to make our little swirl cut it. Make our swirl, tuck it in. What a beautiful little swirl. 
Too bad nobody will ever see you. Goodbye. Oh. And this bale is so fat that look what can fit through it. The monster spool of antique copper chain that all of you wish you had, but you'll never have it because I don't even remember where I got it from. Look at that, it goes right in there. You wiggle it a little bit, but... Voila!